Welcome to our Medinet training video. Medinet is a clinical software commonly used in Australian general practice. There are a few types of clinical software that are used in Australian general practice. In due course we will show you how to use a couple of them. If you know how to use two or three of them you know how to use all of them. So today we are showing you Medinet. That's what you see when you logged in Medinet. Search all the patients that you see here are test patients so there is no breach of privacy. This is typical patient's file in Medinet. You can see menu, another menu with various tabs. Don't worry, we'll get through all of them. Demographic area, more tabs, and the area where you make your entries. Let's start from demographic area. You can see name of the patient, address, date of birth, age, and other particulars. How can you amend occupation? You can do it by double clicking on the area that you want to amend. Click OK. That is how you do it. Smoking. It is very important to update smoking and alcohol status of your patient. It is not only clinically important, it is also a requirement by Royal Australian College of General Practitioners to have smoking and alcohol status updated. I'll show you again. If you want to amend smoking status, double click on smoking on smoking and amend accordingly. Allergies. How important it is to update allergies. Very important. I double clicked on that area and that's what I see. Add. You can add allergy by drug, by molecule, by class. Let's say patient is allergic to penicillin. What kind of reaction? Now we've got patient sanity. Warnings. What kind of warnings we can put there? All sorts of warnings. Let's say do not call home number. So we've got allergies, we've got warnings. It is very important to keep allergies up to date. A little bit later, when I show you prescription or prescribing, you will see that this clinical software will block any prescription that contains that contains penicillin for this patient. Of course, prudent practitioner will exercise caution and will not put all trust in clinical software. Yet, 
it is a very good quality tool. Next area, tabs. This is a summary tab. You can see it's, it's very empty. And to be honest with you, it's very rarely used. This is prescription tab. There are no prescriptions there. I'll make one for you. As you can see, the program gives you all sorts of options. It asks you for a reason for prescription. You can also save reason for prescription as a past health issue. You see, we prescribe this. All we need is to print it. That's how prescriptions are stored in Medini. Let's try to prescribe penicillin to this patient. Remember, we spoke about allergies. If allergies are entered correctly, clinical software will block. Will block prescription of the item to which patient is allergic. Let's choose just any penicillin really. Oh, look at this. Warning, patient may be allergic to the prescribing item. You can either continue or stop. I would prefer stop. So this is prescription. Progress. Oh look, we've done so much. We've updated occupation, alcohol. We've changed warnings, added allergies, prescribed medication, and it all goes automatically into progress notes. Progress notes allow you to enter to make manual entry. You can see past issues or past entries on the right hand side. Today's entry on the left hand side. You can use comments. Comments is something that allows you to use a shortcut or template. Let's say the patient is a child. And you decided to do opportunistic health check for children. You see, I did not have to type all of this. I will just need to, to add a couple words, really. We will get back to that later. Past history tab. Remember, we've ticked the box in the prescription, the box that showed. Would you like the reason for prescription to be a past issue? And there we see our headache. Otherwise, just add. We've added headache. Let's try again. I wanted to show you options. This, this is the option 
for coded entry. It is very important to make coded entries. These entries made from this coded tab are coded according to international nomenclature. It means that they are searchable in the future. It is very important. However, sometimes you can make other, you can make other entries free text. text. Of course it will not be searchable. Okay, let's go to this one more time. Add. Again. Add. You can choose on the right or left and if you want this issue to go into summary it means later on this issue will be shown on the referral letter you can keep summary lovely let's move on what if we want to delete some issue? We just delete. What if we'd like to edit some issue? Or you can print the list of past issues. Results. This patient is a test patient. This patient doesn't have any results. Normally results are loaded electronically. So in the future, you will see some results. I'm just trying to find some document. I don't see any. You can add your own result as well. Letters. It's empty. You can create a letter and print it out and send it to someone else. This is the letter tab. You will need to press to this letter tab or this letter tab in order to generate a letter. Let's press. 